Okay. Chevy Vintage Van Club. I wanted to share my linkage uh, modification. Uh, I don't know if you can see that shiny piece of metal. There's my heim joint right there. You can see it. Um, it wouldn't fit uh, with the heim joint side against the frame. It had to go on the outside, but I don't have any rubbing issues all the way down. So just letting you know, if you do this modification with the 5 16 heim joints, it works out great. Very smooth now. No more play, and no more uh, chance of it uh, wearing through and oblonging in the holes. I'm going to get up and take you over to the other end so you can see the other end. And uh, there it is, it's on the, the frame side. Um, with the sink, I got it all out because I had to pull the transmission again for my clutch issue, but that sits the thing there sits straight up and down, so I'm like I'm already uh, got the leverage there, and then I wanted to show you my flywheel what was going on right here the uh, clutch disc was hitting the belt bearing and it was keeping the disc a quarter inch from the surface here and uh, this is a pretty pretty beefy flywheel here and what happened is that you can see the depth right here on my finger it's uh... maybe maybe a half inch but it's been undercut and I guess the machine shop doesn't measure and take care of that they don't do anything like that they just Take the money from you. It's still oh yeah. I cut your flywheel for you. So in here is my new flywheel. You can see uh, all the balancing holes here that are drilled in. This is a sash flywheel, and uh, unfortunately it was made in China. But it's a uh, pretty lightweight. You can see how they use as little material as they could to make the flywheel work. So it's like I'm getting a racing part on my inline six. And then here's the um, my new sash clutch disc. And uh, this part's made in Mexico. Um, and then right there it says flywheel side with the long snout. And what happened is that when I put this on the on my uh, van with this snout towards the, the flywheel, what happened was it um, was hitting the flywheel, and my flywheel was I mean it was I had like a like a gap like that before the clutch was bolted on, so that in return it took my springs instead of my springs and my pressure plate being like this, it pushed them all the way in like this. That's why I had no clutch. So <clears throat> I had to spend another hundred and twenty dollars and get another flywheel. So um this should my 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 fork action shouldn't be like it was before. I should have very little play in there now and the, the clutch should be really nice and pleasant to engage. This is a pressure plate from Sash. This is my pressure plate on here. And uh looks like this flywheel is universal. It's got two sets of holes on it, so I don't understand that. Anyway. So you can see I'm gonna have some good uh spring there. It's my uh Brand new disc, brand new flywheel, and brand new pressure plate now. Um, so, I just want to let you know what I found out, what the problem was, and why my I had so much free play in the fork, why it was moving so much. These fingers right here were like all the way, they were actually pointed this way. <laughs> so that's why I had no clutch. 
All right. So until next time, I'll give you another update once I get everything back in the, the van, and uh, we'll go from there. Later.